Hi everyone, in this problem we have to compute the following third order partial derivatives. So these that are written up here for this function here. Let's go ahead and go through it. So let's start by computing the partial with respect to x, so fx. So this is equal to. So when you compute this, you treat um, all of the other variables as constants. So in this case, uh, this y cubed is a constant, so it just hangs out. So we simply take the derivative of x to the fourth, which is 4x cubed, and then this y cubed hangs out. And then minus, and as far as the derivative of e to the 2x, well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here we have to use the chain rule. So it'll be e to the 2x times, and then the derivative of the inside function, which is just 2. Let's go ahead and rewrite this. fx is equal to f of 4x cubed, <laughs> too many f's, y cubed minus 2e to the 2x. Okay, let's, let's keep working on this one. Let's compute now fxx. So we're going to take the partial with respect to x again. So again, the y is a constant, so this hangs out. Taking the derivative here, we're going to get 12x squared and the y cubed hangs out. And then here, this derivative here, uh, I'll show the work, it's minus 2. Taking this derivative, it'll be e to the 2x, and then times the derivative of the inside via the chain rule, so 2. Let's go ahead and multiply those two. So we have fxx equals 12x squared y cubed minus 4 e to the 2x. Almost there. Now we just need to do the derivative with respect to y. So f, x, x, y. It's getting ridiculous. So now all of the x's are constants. So now we're just going to take the derivative with respect to y. So we're just focused on this piece here. This other piece hangs out. So we bring down the 3 and multiply it by the 12. That will give us 36 x squared y squared. And that's because we subtract one from the exponent. And then this is going to be zero because it has an x. Right? We're taking the partial with respect to y, so the derivative of uh, e to the 2x is zero. So that's our first answer. So this one would be 36 x squared y squared. That's our first, first answer. Now we have to find this one. So we already have fx. That's right here. So let's go ahead and go from that and find fxy. So taking the partial of this with respect to y, we bring down the 3, okay, that'll give us 12x cubed y squared, and that's it, right, because the partial uh, here is going to be 0 because we're taking the derivative of something that only has x's. So all the x's are constants, right, so again, if we bring down the 3, we get 12, the x hangs out, so that's our x cubed, subtract 1 from the exponent on the y, that leaves us with that, and then this derivative here of this is 0. Now we have to do with respect to x, so 3 times 12 is 36, so we get 36, x squared, and again the y squared is a constant. So same answer for both of these. Pretty cool. So I'll put that in a box. And now we have to do this one. So to do this one, we first have to compute the partial with respect to y, which we actually haven't done. So let's go ahead and do that. So finding the partial with respect to y of the original function. The x's are constants, so we bring down the 3. So we get 3 x to the fourth y squared. And the beautiful thing is the derivative of this bad boy is 0 because it only relies on x. It only depends on x. So it's a constant, so it's 0. Now we need the partial with respect to x. So f, y, x. So again, now the y squared is a constant. So 4 times 3 is 12. So we get 12 x cubed, and the y squared hangs out. Then we do it one more time fy x x bringing it down we get 36 x squared y squared and look at that it's the same answer so it's the same answer for all three kind of a fun problem i hope this video has been helpful good luck